All right, hey YouTube, it's C Smith 0406 here. Um, just wanted to bring a couple new products I've got to you. Um, just a couple things that uh, you don't see too often, and uh, just wanted to get out there because I haven't done a video in a while, and just wanted to show some new things. But uh, I'm gonna start it out nice, short, and sweet with this uh, Model 94 as a pre 64. But I've uh, may look a little odd to most of you because it's a little short but it's basically a gun that I've wanted for a while and I've had for about two years now or so um, just kind of started out in the market for one ended up finding one at the local gun show, uh, shop down in Milledgeville Baines Army and uh, it was in pretty rough shape and uh, probably going to offend a lot of people telling them what I did to this thing but then again it's my gun it's something I wanted and it's uh, pretty neat and uh, I really like it so basically what I did was just kind of chop the barrel down took it out to the gunsmith have him take it down to 16 inches um, put a new magazine tube on it because the other one was kind of messed up um, shortened it down cut it put a new bevel on it and whatnot added the excess sight systems ghost ring sights to it I know the camera kind of sucks on this one but uh, it is what it is but added those ghost ring sights which is awesome I love those. Extremely accurate. I mean, you know, what everybody says about them is true. I mean, there's plenty of good reviews on those. Um, putting them on Model 94 was a little different. you got to make sure if you've got a Pre-64, the receivers are a little thinner here. And if you buy the uh, later model sites, I guess you could call it, ones for the, um, the uh, AE models, the Angular Eject models, the receivers are a little fatter, so you won't get that sight to fit on there. These are for the earlier models. Um, I can't remember what the model is, but you'll see it if you find them on. I think I got these on uh, cheaperthedirt.com, but uh, you'll figure it out once you see them. But that's going to be hard to see. I don't even know if I can show that. But anyway, um, so I took the barrel down, had everything cleaned up, polished out. I actually made the plug for where the rear sight was. There, made that, kind of grinded it out, put a tap screw in there to hold it in place. I mean, it's locked in there it's not going anywhere but I mean this thing is awesome I mean it's accurate as far as I can shoot it I mean it's fun I, I go out there and take it and shoot it across the dam and just shoot rocks with it I mean I'll blast everything it's just fun to shoot and uh, had it Cerakoted this is the uh, armor black I believe in uh, Cerakote and I love this finish it's the first thing I've ever had Cerakoted and uh, it's an awesome finish I mean it's durable I wanted something that I could take with me on the Ranger, throw it in the seat, take it back out, unload it, you know, and, and then put it away and not have to worry about it. You know, that blue finish this originally came with was wearing off. It was rough. and um, I mean, it was, it was still a good-looking gun when I got it, but I needed something that was durable, but I mainly wanted it for the, the smooth operation of a, of a Pre-64 and the good internal parts it had uh, with it. I do have a Model 94 bone stock here but this one was actually made in 1964 so it's not like I don't know you know the value of them and and appreciate them because I do have other ones it's just I wanted I mean this one's a little you know a little rougher to to use I mean it's still smooth but it's a little bit rougher to use um, it's not as smooth you can definitely tell that they change parts in these guns um, in that year uh, it's still a great gun it shoots awesome very accurate I mean it's it's fun but uh, but this is my baby, and I uh, just wanted to show it off. Had the stock free finished. Uh, they were in pretty rough shape. Had them sanded down, refinished. I mean, there's not a nick in them. The gunsmith I used did a really good job. Uh, his name is actually Scott Register out of Milledgeville and uh, Lake Sinclair area. But he did a really good job. Uh, got the stocks looking good. And uh, anyway, I just wanted to show that gun off. I mean, it's just as smooth as it could be. So really just wanted to show that off for whoever was thinking about it. If you have a Model 94, or free 64 and you kind of hesitant to do anything to it I mean yeah you know you're gonna hurt the value of the gun to somebody um, in my case this is what I was looking for I wanted a short trapper version they're extremely hard to find and when you do find one they're extremely pricey you know you're gonna pay nine hundred dollars for it so I decided to do my own and I kinda got what I wanted out of it you know with the sights being the way I wanted them and the uh, the finish, the Cerakote finish and, and the pretty new stocks I got on there. So anyway, 
just wanted to show that off and show how cool it was and if anybody was thinking about doing it themselves now you've got an image of what it would look like just pretty much just like a trapper version but you know with the Cerakote finish it's kind of hard to see on that camera but it really turned out nice he did a good job with it, the sights and everything else so trying to be descriptive but so you can only be so descriptive on this gun it's been reviewed a million times just wanted to show my version of it that's all so anyway appreciate you watching